Hi guys, hope you all doing great. For this video, we will dive into objectives and definition of costing, as well as basic terms used in costing. There are three main objectives in cost accounting. First and foremostly, to determine cost. Second, to planning and control. And lastly, for decision making. In cost determination, cost accounting and sure cost are assigned to respective department in organization. Each department will be responsible on the costs which have been given or allocated to them. Cost accounting provides platform for planning and control. It enables companies to set and prepare activities, target or goals. Cost accounting also provides platform for comparison between actual cost and budgeted cost and enable corrective actions to be made. Cost accounting empower decision making. Cost information will assist manager or person in charge in decision making purpose. Let's look on definition of cost. Cost is defined as the expenditure incurred in producing a product or a service. The ascertainment of cost by applying accounting and costing principles, methods or techniques. It may be determined after or before the cost are incurred. What is cost object? Cost object defined as any activity for which separate measurement of cost is desired. For example, cost of manufacturing a car. Cost of rendering a service such hotel. How to do costing. Costing involves collecting and classifying expenditure according to cost elements, materials, or labor, or overheads, then assign the expenditure to the cost centers or the cost units or both. These are basic terms normally used in cost accounting. Students should familiarize with the basic terms. Cost defined as amount spent or used on making product or doing an activity. Cost must be in monetary form. For example, RM10 or RM20 cents. Cost unit defined as quantitative unit measurement of products or services where cost can be related. For example, sugar, which cost unit in kilogram or gram, silk, which cost unit in centimeter or meter. Cost center defined as business section or department where cost can be charged. Can be classified into Process cost center, where specific process or continuous sequence of operations is performed. For example, in food processing manufacturing company, the cost centers are mixing and cooking departments. Production cost center, involved in making or manufacturing product. For example, machining, assembly, mixing, cutting. Lastly, service cost center, provides support and service to production department. For example, maintenance department, canteen, store. Profit center defined as, units within an organization whose managers are accountable for both revenues and costs. Investment center, defined as, units whose managers are responsible for both revenues and costs and in addition have responsibility and authority to make the following, working capital which is decision on day-to-day -day operation, and capital investment which is, decision made for long-term investment. Capital investment categorized as, opportunity and sunk cost. Opportunity cost defined as, the benefit foregone or lost when one alternative is rejected while accepting another. For example, a building which could either be rented out or sold. If the building sold, the opportunity to earn rental income is lost. Sunk cost defined as, costs or expenses that have already paid or incurred where the total will be unaffected by the choice between various alternatives. For example, training cost incurred last year. For decision making, cost and revenue can be classified according to whether they are relevant to a particular decision. Relevant cost and revenue, classified as, those future cost and revenue that will be changed by a decision. For example, opportunity cost. Irrelevant cost and revenue classified as, those that will not be affected by the decision. For example, sunk cost. 
Incremental and marginal costs can be classified into two, incremental cost or differential cost, which defined as, the difference between the costs of each alternative action that being considered. Marginal cost, which is, similar to incremental cost except for the marginal cost or revenue, represents the additional cost or revenue, of one extra unit of output whereas incremental cost measure a group of extra units of output. Mark Chikanis is opening new Nasi Lemic stall. Help Mark Chikanis understands the basic of costing. Why I need costing for my business. To comply with statutory requirements such as MASB, FRS and others regulation. To determine cost and allow better planning and control. For classifying, recording, summarizing the business activities and interpreting business result. So, who gives the correct answer? Anor's answer is incorrect. Costing not required to comply with any statutory body. Said's answer is correct. While Raman's answer is definition of financial accounting. Thanks guy. Keep going to next video and please support with like and subscribing to my channel. Yours means a lot to me.